Hi, this is Mike Barnes with the SEO Alien, and the question we had this week is what's the best way to add an article to your blog for SEO? But before we go there, there's a couple things you have to do before that to make sure that when you post that article, the blog is set up to give you the most SEO juice as possible. The first thing you should do before you add an article is to make sure that you have a correct category that you can put that article in. And if you go into your posts widget on the left hand side, you'll see categories. Now the website we're in right now is a sample website for We Buy Houses, a sample blog. Here's what the public side looks like. And again, if, if you're not in real estate and you're watching this video, put whatever your niche is in replace of the real estate and it'll all make sense to you. In this one I created a cat category called House Selling Tips and that's my default category. If I wanted to create another category, I would create a name of the category um, selling facts. We'll put selling facts or just something put in there. Now the slug is what appears at the top of the page in the URL so you want to type that all lowercase and in this case it'll be house selling facts. and I don't want it in a parent category I'll just leave it in I mean I'll leave it in the parent category and then the description again this is all for SEO so I want to make sure that this is house selling facts current house selling facts data on selling houses and then you can add new category so I'm gonna go ahead and add new category now in the appearance, or excuse me, in the settings of your website, uh, your, your blog, and of course this is WordPress, I'm going to go to writing. And when I go to writing, it's going to ask me what's the default post category. So I have selling facts and house selling tips. I'm going to keep the default as house selling tips. Two other things I highly suggest you do is in plugins you will want to go to your plugins and you're going to want to add a new plugin. Do a search for SEO slugs. Search plugins and I believe it'll be the very first one that you want. There's several. So yeah, yep, yeah, just the very first one on mine. It's SEO slugs and install it. What that will do is make your the URL and your web address much more search engine friendly. Now, in order for all this to work, you will need to go into your permalinks section of your blog. It's in your settings. And you want to type this exactly as it appears. It's category and uh, post name. And you need to do it, again, exactly like it appears right here. Let me, let me zoom in on this so you can get a better view of what that reads. So write that down. and just save changes. You have to click custom structure and, and put, put that in there and you're good to go. That makes it extremely search engine friendly. Now we go to our posts. Now this blog I think we only have two posts in here so far but here's previous posts and I could either click add new on the left or add new at the top but let's just go to add new on the left. And now I'm going to, to grab an article. Now your articles we use an article service to write our articles. We certainly couldn't do this all by ourselves, so we do have articles that come in and they're they're pre-written, pre meaning that they're pre-HTML. You see the paragraph tags in here? So what we do, I just grab this article and copy it, and I'm going to paste it in the HTML version of this. And then I'm going to switch it back to visual. So there's my article. One other thing I like to do to keep this article clean, I'll highlight the entire article and I'll, I'll make sure that this is square. I, I just like the looks of it. I think it's easier to read too. Okay, then we're going to go ahead back to our article and I'm going to just grab the title. Now this is where you can do a little bit of research on the, on, on the title. If I go to Google and just do a search for selling for cash with equity. Let's see if that's a popular search. 
it's not a, uh, it's not really a popular search however there's 325 million and what I mean by popular search is selling for cash clothes selling for cash digital cameras selling for cash mp3 that's what people are searching for when they're saying selling for cash so to, to really make this popular uh, selling your house for cash with equity I'm gonna take out the retirement years so selling your house for cash let's see how that ranks I think we'll do better there it is so it's the number one search for selling your house for with the letter C cash is the first one when I do that search there's 75 million 300 different results possible results for that so that's a pretty good uh, that's a pretty good search I like that so th so that's my title that's how I chose my title to make that search engine popular search engine friendly the other thing you want to do with your article is you want to take a, just a couple minutes and possibly add an image um, images are always good so to add an image I just start at the top and I click on the image button above the WYSIWYG editor and it's going to ask me to upload an image so I'm going to browse my hard drive and let's find an image and we'll just quickly grab one there we go let's just do this make it quick upload this now you can change the title and the description of your picture like this is just the default name of this what I would suggest is for the title of this is something like selling your house for cash um, alternate uh, text selling your house fast in a bad market or however you want to word that and then your description now what you can do for the description is just take the first sentence of your article so let's grab my article and just take a look at this real quick uh, selling house for cash uh, let's just grab a quick sentence right here right here so I'm just gonna grab that first sentence I'm gonna paste description here that's too long so I'm gonna just delete a little bit and just t tweak it thinking about selling your home your house think about selling your house and downsizing okay so it's a description and now the link to the URL that links to the actual picture I usually either totally take that out unless you want people to click the picture and see a bigger picture or you can put in your own unique URL in here so if you're driving people like in this case I want people to go to our sell your home questionnaire so I can copy that URL at the very top of the page right here I can copy this and I can go to my image link URL and paste it right in there and that way when people click the image that's where it goes where you put the, the image I recommend putting it on the right but again that's highly optional and I'm just going to click insert and post at this point now the picture is too big and it often happens your photo is too big but if you click on the photo you can also using the shift button on your on your PC use the shift button and you can actually drag this image and make it the size you want and I'll just use a 150 and there's my image that's really all you need to know now you can set the borders that's uh, if you click edit okay I click the picture don't click delete click this image and another screen will pop up and I can set the borders around this using the advanced settings so I can actually if I wanted to make a border of one this is the vertical space meaning how far from left to right that image is from the text or the side of the page um, I usually use like a of a one in there and then a five on horizontal space vertical space is up and down excuse me or horizontal is left and right you've already set all this other information so you don't need to change it you just click update and now I have a border around my image and there's a one space right here so let's go back here you may want to do that differently you may want to change your border and make it a little bit more of a vertical space so border one vertical space five horizontal space five it's whatever your preference whatever you think looks good for your blog and and then it sets it up for you okay one other tip you have in your article um, do you have equity house or retired watch and okay, this right here I'd like to make a, a subtitle and the way to do this for the search engines is pretty simple set this up so that goes right there 
I just took a sentence. That's going to be a title, but I'm going to go to paragraph and I'm going to choose H3. That actually becomes search engine sensitive real big. That's almost like adding another key phrase to your article. As you slide down the page, you can probably find something else that could be a good title too, like this. And paste it. And I'll make it so it's got capitals in it just to make it look more like a title. And that could probably stay lowercase, traditional way. And I'm again going to make that an H2 tag or excuse me h3 tag and what that does again it, it makes it easier for the reader and it makes it easier for the search engines to identify what this article is, is about which will really help it pop on the search engines now if you're a real estate investor what you could do is highlight this right here um, in this case I'm going to say contact a real estate investor that's going to be my hyperlink so I'm going to make it bold and a hyperlink is going to be a link to my questionnaire and I'm also going to go to my questionnaire right now and grab the URL to the questionnaire go to add new post again and where I've highlighted contact a real estate investor I'm gonna make that a hyperlink this chain that I have my mouse on is the hyperlink and I simply just paste it now what I in the title because this is a hyperlink to your website I want to tell the search engines what this page is so it's a questionnaire so it's sell your house fast questionnaire you want to make sure that you do have correct type spelling correct grammar now I can open that in a new window or I can just have them go directly there in this case I want them to go directly there so I'm going to add new link and there it is why not contact a real estate investor and now when I go to publish this it if I don't choose anything in here it's okay because by default it's going to go to house selling tips which is where I want it to go now down in the tag section this is telling the search engines it's telling people because they can click on your tags if you have them visible what this article is about I need to put selling house for cash add that one there we go um, use lowercase in the long run it's just going to be easier for you if you use uppercase um, on the first letters make sure you do it consistently but if you just use lowercase all the time that's usually the best way to go now I'm just gonna publish this article and there's a button here to view post this will open in a new window when I click uh, this one it will open in a new window if I click up here it keeps me on the same page this is a new window which it opened up over here and here's my here's our article now as far as the article is concerned that's what most people have the biggest challenge with is sitting down and writing the article no matter what niche you have, uh, the SEO Alien does offer a article service. And if you go to our page at SEO-Alien.com, and if you're looking for articles, we have in packages, just uh, click packages. Our article packages are written in the U.S. by professional U.S. writers and we will send you one article a week or four articles a month for only fifty dollars you just have to click uh, professional article service and no matter what your niche is uh, we can do it for you we have niches from from a variety of different uh, types of sites such as woodworking so we write for woodworking we write uh, anti-aging uh, catering services we write for a, a diabetic test strip company self storage so what a uh, printing company whatever you want to write for or need writing for we can do it for you and the articles are typically uh, I'll just grab you some raw food articles they are typically 350 to 450 words and they're all unique meaning that they've never been used and they come to you in this type of fashion so it's just as simple as a copy and paste so you have at least one a week um, and, and we built in the vacations for you because weeks or months with five weeks yes you get four but you can uh, you know use those articles and do what we just did in 10 minutes so take advantage of that and if you have any other questions with posting a web uh, article to a blog or anything similar let us know we'd be happy to answer the question for you so thank you for your time and we look forward to hearing from you thanks